What's going on guys, Somebody Slayer back with another video and here we are with the NHL 22 release. Uh, we're playing the EA Access Trial today but it was a perfect chance for me to give you guys some best builds to start this game off. With the whole new zone ability, superstar abilities and boost, we're all going to be starting at level 1 so we're all going to only have our zone ability at the start. Obviously when, as we could progress and level up through the game, more of these will be unlocked. Meaning, a lot of these builds I'm making right now will change. So I promise you guys, as the year goes on, or as the next month or so goes on, I'm going to be making frequent updates for you guys for the best builds. I did these videos for you guys back in NHL 21. I did them in NHL 20. And I'm bringing them back again this year because you guys seem to really like them. And I just really want to give you guys some good builds to, to do really good in ESHL World of Chill. So, our first build this year we're going to start off with is the Sniper. Um, I put mine at 6 foot 1, 170 pounds. Um, obviously you can make them shoot whatever side you want. Um, like I said, this year now, with Welcome the whole back, new you know, customization when it comes to your attributes, you we don't really want to be focusing on making show. like, the you know, the... 5 foot 7 160 pound sniper anymore because we can mess around when we get down here with our actual stats here and mess around and give ourselves more speed and you know boost a couple things so going over all these I made these pre-built before so I've already messed around with and came up with the best tech or best uh, combination for you guys um, when it comes to our technique I knocked the wrist shot accuracy down by two making both of these 86 I then knocked our balance down to a 70 and then I boosted our speed up to an 88 and then kept our agility at an 87. So this is what you guys should have. You should have a minus 2, plus 3, minus 2, plus 2. Um, getting into the next one which is our power. We, have, we want to have an 89, 89, 87, 86, and then this goes all the way down to an 80, which gives us the ability to have all this boost. So it gives us 89 shot power, 89 wrist shot power, 86 obviously the left for our accuracy and slap shot accuracy. So both of those are very even, so it will be very dominant when you're shooting either a wrist shot or a slap shot. We also get a slight boost in our acceleration and a slight boost in our puck control. And anything above an 85 for th these types Welcome of skills back, is very, very show. crucial. Here's a quick tip. So we'll going into our play style, I put our passing up to 84, our offensive awareness up to a 90, body checking down to a 70, stick checking down to a 70, and defensive awareness down to a 70. So all, the, all your defensive stuff will be at 70, and then we boost our offensive stuff a little bit, because obviously passing is important. It is difficult to pass in this game, so you want to have as high as a rating as possible, and that and that's our our play style. For tendency or ten tenacity, sorry, uh, we put our hand eye up to 84, we put our strength down to 70, durability down to 70, and shot blocking down to 70. And then back, our last one is tactics. Put our uh, what's it called deking up up by four. Face off, stay at 85, discipline all the way down, and then fighting skill all the way down. Now it depends, if you're going to have 10 skill points left over here, if you want the extra fighting skill, you can leave it up to 67. I just put it down just because, um, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. And usually this build right here, now that it's done, these are the final stats, you can take a look, pause if you need to. Um, I'd prefer to use this build if you're a winger because my my center builds I put the face off up a little bit more so when it's a, a build like this I want to keep my face off just the standard 85 so this build is mainly for wings here's the final sniper build highly recommend it so jumping into the next one we're looking at the two-way forward which is one of my favorite builds in the game I decide this year to go with a 5 foot 10 185 285 pound player um, coming down to our technique 
I put the wrist shot, wrist shot actually at 82, slap shot actually up to 83, this up to 87, 187 speed, this down to 70, and then kept put our agility at 80, which gives us that right there. Um, when it comes to power, I decided to put both these at 80, put our acceleration up to 85, put our puck control up to 86, and then knock our endurance down to 80. Because once again, these two are very important when it comes to our power. Um, play style, as a two-way forward, you obviously want to be doing good defense and good offense. So I put the passing all the way up to 90, offensive awareness up to 88, body checking, I brought that down to a 70, stick checking kept at 85, and this I knocked down on 86. <coughs> Excuse me. Back to the tenacity ones, our hand eye put up to an 85. Strength down to a 73, durability down to a 73, and then shot blocking I wanted to boost up to an 86, I believe. This is an 86, yeah, so these are both 86. Then for tactics, I put our deking up to 84, cut the face off at 85, this came down to a 79, this came down to a 67, and once again, that's our are set there so technically speaking 85 face off you can play any of these builds at center um these builds like the 2a4 and the sniper i didn't mess around with the face off i kept it at the standard and there's gonna be people you face that probably aren't gonna mess around with face off either so you should be fine um this build i would recommend at center but um if you want to play one with it you can because he has a good he has good shooting either way so that's our two-way forward build. Highly recommend this one if you're a good, uh, if you want to play a good two-way game at defensive end and on the offensive end. So our next one is going to be our heavy build, which is the power forward. We're going six foot four this year at 210 pounds, <coughs> and then coming down to our technique, we knocked that down. Our wrist shot down on 80. Kept this at 83, put this up to an 81 for speed, put this down to an 80, and then kept our agility at 78. So an 81 speed for a 6'4", 210 pound player is actually pretty good. Um, getting into power, we knocked our slap shot down to an 85, put our acceleration up to an 80, puck control up to, or just kept that at 87, and then endurance went down by one. Play style, once again, as a power forward, you're not going to be the greatest passer on the ice, but I wanted to put that up to an 81, this up to an 87, this down to a, or up to an 85, sorry. Kept this at 80, and then this one down to a 75. Back, everyone. Just a reminder, you can customize your whole arena from the stanchions to the railings on the stairs. For tenacity, Club owners can really we went 80, 84, 84, 85, I didn't mess with any of this stuff at all. all the and then for That's tactics, really the I put out of your home ice advantage. this at 83, this at 83, this down to an 80, and then our deking up to an 80. Because obviously, as a power forward, you're not going to be playing center whatsoever. And we want to have the most, the best deking we can get when it comes to the power forward. But I also wanted to make sure our fighting and discipline are up because, you know, you want to be a, if you're a heavyweight like a power forward, you want to be able to fight. If you're playing threes and you're not going to fight, I'd highly recommend knocking this down to an 80, this down to a 78, and then putting your deking up to the max it can go. So 83, and then maybe put your face off up if you want to do, or do this. This right here is what I would recommend. So this right here, you can take, take a picture, pause the video, is our power forward build. Also highly recommend if you're like to just nail people and you know still have a good shot and very good shooting stats um good speed decent passing this is an all-around very solid build for you guys and then getting into our defensive build we went with the two-way defenseman this year at six foot two 195 pounds coming down to our technique we want both of our shooting accuracy to be 80 this to be an 82, this to be a 76, and this to be an 82. For power, we went with 
80 as well. So our accuracy and power is both be 80, which is very solid for a defenseman. Acceleration up to an 82. Puck control at 84 is already good. And our endurance goes right up to an 83 as well. Play style, once again, 85 passing as a defenseman is very good. We put our offensive awareness down to an 80. Our body checking up to a 77. Stick checking stays at 85 and defensive awareness stays at 88. For tenacity, we put our hand eye up to an 83. We knocked our strength down to 75, our durability down to a 75, and our shot blocking all the way up to a 90. And then for tactics, 78 deking. No, obviously knocked down our face off, we don't need that. Kept the discipline at 87 and knocked our uh, fighting skill down to a 69. I'd put it at 70 if you want keep it at that and right here is recommended my best defensive build because you're going to be able to play very good defense but also join the rush if you need to especially in 3v3 which is the mode i usually make these builds for it's the most universal mode that a lot of people are playing the one that you need a lot of speed um and you need to be able to play a two-way game so that's our defensive build and the last build i'm going to give you guys for me personally this is going to be my build this year I played the whole entire, uh, what's it called, technical test with this build and played so good with it. It's the Playmaker build. Uh, it's six foot one, 180 pounds is what we're rocking. And coming down to our shooting stats, we went with 82, 83, 88 speed, 67 balance, and 86, 86 agility. And then for power, we wanted to put our wrist shot power and slap shot power up to 80. Our acceleration went up to an, stayed at an 86, my bad. Uh, puck control at an 88, and then endurance down to an 81. As for passing, we went all the way up to a 93 with 91 offensive awareness, 70 body checking, 80 stick checking, and 75 defensive awareness. For tenacity, I went with 88 for hand-eye because I love cutting across the net at certain times. We want to make sure to be able to get those deflections. Strength to a 70, durability to a 70, and then shot blocking went down to a 76. As for my tactics, I put mine at 86 for deking. I boosted my face off up to an 87. As for myself, I'm a center, so obviously I want to have that boost in face offs. Knocked down my discipline, knocked down my fighting skill, and that is that for that. Uh, obviously, for play style, I knocked my defensive awareness a little bit down to 75 because I consider myself good at defense. I don't need a super high defensive awareness, so that's why I mess with that I wanted as much passing as possible and this build right here I kid you not guys I wish I was able to show you video clips of it because of during the technical test but we weren't allowed um, I was putting up hat tricks having very good passing and it was just a very very fun build to use very fast and can do basically everything you want on the ice highly recommend this build um, and once again, just like other times, let me know down below, guys, what builds you end up making if you don't make one of these. And let me know how you guys are doing if you do use any of these builds. Um, other than that, I'm excited for this year. I'm excited for all these videos that you pushed out to you guys so you guys can thrive in World of Chell and just enjoy this game to the fullest. Because let me tell you, NHL 22 this year looks stunning, plays amazing, and it's just been a very fun experience so far. So until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.